Now that we're back at the camp, I want to talk about what happened at Redcliffe. You were there. You saw what happened. Yes, I know. I've had some time to think about it now. I just wanted to thank you. You went out of your way to save the Arles family, and you did it. Even though it would have been easier not to. There's been so much death and destruction. It... Well, it, it makes me feel good that at least we were able to save something. No matter how small. I owe the Arl that much. If we can stop the Blight, we'll save much more. You're right. Hopefully, by that time, there's still enough of Ferelden left to save. Good. Now that the warm, fuzzy part of the day is over with, we can get back to the ritual dismemberments. Oh, wait. It's not Tuesday, is it? Okay, back at camp, we have a couple of other uh, things. We can go... Uh, all the different characters are going to have things to say to us. But there's one thing I want to do, make sure I do, before we move on. Involves Morgan. Now, I picked up, while we were in the Mage's Tower, quite a while ago, actually, I picked up an item called Black Grimoire. Let's give it to, uh, let's give it to Morgan. What? You found Flemeth's Grimoire? Ever since we discovered the condition of the Mage's Tower, I had wondered if it might be recoverable. But I had yet to speak of it to you. How fortunate that you found it on your own. You have my thanks. I will begin study of the tome immediately. What do you hope to find within it? Secrets. My mother has many of them, and this tome represents the one time that they were able to get away from her. I do not intend to squander this opportunity to learn more than Flemeth wished me to know. This should be... interesting. Okay, we got plus 12 approval from Morrigan. Which puts us at plus 22. Still neutral, but quite a bit higher. We're building up on Morgan. Uh, do we have any conversations we can go along with her? What do you wish of me? Uh, no, never mind. I think we might have some other stuff, too. Water-stained portrait. That's a good thing we can give to... Sten. I am impressed. My thanks. Sten likes portraits and cookies. Ah, we finally got his approval above zero. We're at plus ten now. Silver frame still life. This is another. I think this is a. Okay. I am impressed. My thanks. He likes artwork. Plus nineteen now. Sweet. You can also give him the usual crap. I mean, I think these two items can go to pretty much anybody. Morgan likes jewelry. I am grateful. Okay, so she... Plus 31. I don't know who goes this, this goes to. I'll look it up before I give it to anybody. Gold bar, no, no. Oh, give this to the dog. Although it really doesn't matter because he's already at full, uh, is already at plus 100. Haha, we still got out of the inventory. Okay, since her, Morgan has, since her character's approval rating has increased so drastically. 31 plus. She now has noticed that some of her numbers are starting to turn green. I guess that's because of the enchantment of the items that she's wearing. But it's also the more that a character likes you, the more the harder they're going to fight for you. If you get to negative 100, I believe they leave the group. Yeah, yeah they will leave the group. At plus 100, they become significantly stronger. So 
regardless of who you're dealing with, that is a gigantic wheel of cheese. Regardless of who you're talking about, you're going to want to keep your characters liking you rather than hating you. Who the frickin' hell is that? Oh, that, okay, that guy. Yes. I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. What would someone like you be doing in Lothring's Chantry? What is meant by someone like me? You know, a beautiful, charming woman like yourself. And there were no beautiful, charming women in the cloisters, you think? <laughs> you would be wrong. There were many lovely young initiates in the Lothering Cloister. All of them chaste and virtuous. <laughs> it added to their mystique. Because then, they were forbidden. And forbidden fruit is the sweeter, no? These initiates can't have been more lovely than you. Flatterer. I, however, did not take vows, and so perhaps I am not as enigmatic. The Chantry provides succor and safe harbor to all who seek it. I chose to stay and become affirmed. Affirmed? We affirm our belief in the Maker, in Andraste and the Chant, but other than that, there are no vows taken. And why were you seeking safe harbor? The Chantry does not pride, and you should. I desired time apart from the world. I was a traveling minstrel in Orle. Tales and songs were my life. I performed, and they rewarded me with applause and coin. And my skill in battle? Well, you pick up different skills when you travel, yes? Yes, of course. Um, let's move on. Yeah, she's full of crap, but we did get some approval rating, and her character did gain an extra spill skill. 29. Interested. Okay. Because of the dialogue choices, I guess. Plus 29, she's interested. Whereas some of these other characters, even if they have a higher approval rating, they're still considered neutral. Like Morgan, though, I could have done the same thing with her, but she's an evil witch, so that's not happening. You know, maybe this isn't the best time to be thinking about this, but I have something to ask you. Chances are we'll be heading to Denerim soon, and when we're there, I wonder if we might be able to look someone up. We'll probably be a bit too... Uh, hold on. Loghain will get what's coming to him, I promise you. No, I, I know that. That's not what I'm talking about. The thing is... I have a sister, a half-sister. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant at Redcliffe Castle, and she had a daughter. Only, I never knew about her. I don't think she knew about me, either. They kept my birth a secret, after all. But, after I became a Grey Warden, I did some checking, and... Well, I found out she's still alive. In Denerim. Have you contacted her? No. I thought about writing her, but I never did. And then we were called down to Ostagar, and I never got the chance. She's the only real family I have left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that maybe it's time I went to see her. With the blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. What are you expecting she will do? I'm not sure. I don't know anything about her except her name and where she lives. Her name is Goldana, and I think she remarried but still lives just outside the alienage. If we're in the area, then, well, it's worth a look. Got one plus approval from Alistair. Okay, yeah, I guess Goldana was the name of the sister that he introduced us to when we were in the Fade. Of course, she was really just uh, some kind of a demon. Yes. You wanted to discuss something you mentioned? Oh, damn it. I wanted to discuss something you mentioned. Speak, then. That's enough for now. Then I suggest we move on. I'm not going to get anything out of this guy. Let's go. As you wish. The last thing I want to do... Oh, wait, no. We got Wynn over here. Maybe we can get some backstory out of her. 
Rest. Rest would be welcome. Are you all right? Yes, yes, of course. I am just a little weary. As you may have noticed, I'm no spring chicken. There's still some life in those old bones, I bet. Thank you. You're very kind to say so. But in all honesty, I do not know how many years I have left in me. I have lived for such a long time. But there is always something else to do. And I have to keep going in order to do it. I think I will be glad when I am done. I'm sure you'll be kicking around for years yet. Oh, I don't know. I really don't. Alright, we got one plus approval out of her. Uh, one of the things I think is a bit of a flaw with the graphical representations of the characters in this game is it's a little difficult to determine a character's age. In fact, they go so far to make it difficult as they, in none of the extra materials, like, um, or anything really, do they really mention how old some of these characters are. Like, how old is when? I don't know. In reality, I'd say she's she looks like she's maybe late middle age or something like that, but they're implying that she's older than that. How old is the character of Liliana? It's hard to tell. She looks like, I don't know, maybe mid 20s perhaps older than maybe perhaps she's older than that it's hard to freaking tell when you look at the warden's mother in the noble origin beginning she doesn't look like she's old enough to have an adult child of course people probably shot out kids when they were pretty damn young in this universe but it still comes across as kind of weird so i mean it a lot of these characters it's hard to tell their age how old is Loghain? Loghain looks like he's one of the older characters in the game, but he's... It's really hard to tell how old these characters are. The last thing I wanted to show was to come over here. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. Let me show you your weird. Uh, show, give, sell me shit. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. Discount my ass. You're selling me shit at full price. Something you can do in this game, and this is only because... Oh, I want this. This is only because you are dealing with characters that are... Wait, what am I talking about? Something you can do in this game, and this is only because I have a certain uh, DLC installed, is buy items which increase your standing gifts. You can buy multiple gifts. Now, keep in mind that this is not intended... Well, this gift here is one of the regular ones that you'll be find sold by this guy. So I'll buy that. But all of these items that cost nothing. These items are really just parts of the DLC. Including these two as well. These, But you have to buy these. What they are are special gifts that are intended to be given to individual characters can't be given to any other characters, cost you nothing, and have a dramatic increase in their in their liking of you. So what you don't want to be doing, well, I mean, it has the potential to greatly upset the, the um, like, affection system that they have in this game. I could easily make all the characters just love you by buying them the awesome stuff and using that to uh, just boost your, their liking of you. Uh, where was it? The gold rope necklace, that was something that was in the base game anyway. Give it to Morgan. A fine gift. Notice it... Instead of a 10, it went down to a 9, now it's an 8. They have diminishing returns when you give stuff to them. So at 39, she now has warm uh, feelings for the main character, rather than just being neutral. Now what I bought was the fat loot. You give her the fat loot, and I mean, uh, well, let's see. I, that's a wonderful thought. I don't know what to say. That is, was a ridiculous increase in 
her approval rating. <laughs> oh, I don't want to be doing this with all the characters, though, because it really screws with the... Um, it screws with this approval system. In fact, if I didn't already go and... Oh, new ability. Minor cutting, major cutting. See, like, see more, fights harder for you. Didn't want... I would go and delete all this stuff. I don't feel like reloading and going through all that effort. But let's see what new stuff she has to say now that she has a higher approval rating of you. I enjoy the nights at camp. The night always seems more peaceful to me. Safer. I know what you mean. I feel the night grants us a reprieve from the troubles of the day. Silly, isn't it? The darks will never sleep, and they lurk in the shadows. It's not silly to seek moments to lay down your burdens. I enjoy those nights when we stand guard together, talking to pass the time in those small hours. Well, I talk and you listen, mostly. And sometimes, I succumb and fall asleep and wake to find you so watchful. And I know you're watching out for me. Ah, oh, jeez. Hold on. Let me think about this for a sec. Ah, uh, well, let's go with number two. You never have to feel afraid with me. What I'm trying to say is, is that I trust you. I'm comfortable around you. I know you'll be there when I need you. You are our, our leader and my friend. And sometimes I think that m maybe we could be more than that. Maker, look at me stumbling over my words like an ill-educated peasant girl. Some bard I am. You're cute when you're embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. I'm just flushed because of the heat. I've always wanted us to be more than friends. Really? N no one told me. You you felt the same way and didn't do me the courtesy of informing me? You made me say all those things. Why couldn't you have said them first? Oh, you... Oh, how very awkward. You still like me, right? Oh, chivalry is so dead. Making the lady spill her guts like that. Ah, let's go with her. Well, I, um, that settles it, then. Ah, get some more approval out of her. That is pretty much the extent of the romance system. Oh, a door. Awesome. The romance system that exists in this game. You have, I mean, obviously you could play as either a man or a woman in this game, and regardless of which... Uh, gender that you play as Liliana is available because she's swinging both ways at that side. If you were playing as a woman, then Alistair would have been available as well. Would have been, an, yeah. And uh, another character that we haven't encountered yet, he would be available to a female warden, but there's also he would be available to a male warden if that's what you wanted to do. If I had wanted to, I could have pursued a relationship with Morgan over here, but that would require doing a lot of evil crap left and right, and I don't feel like doing all that stuff, because that's what I did when I played through the game before. I was an evil son of a bitch. In fact, I had to struggle to keep Liliana from leaving all the time because I was just pissing her off so much. And anyway, 20 minutes with an episode, nothing but the camp. Damn, I gotta get out of here.